Okay, friends, we're going to start the background of our tiger projects. You're going to make an ABB pattern. And an ABB pattern has two things. It could be an object, a color, number, shape, line, where there's two different things. The A happens once, but the B happens twice. We're going to be using the size of our leaves to make our ABB patterns. So your big leaf's gonna be your A and your little leaf's gonna be your B. So as you can see on mine, I have A, B, B. A, B, B. A, B, B. And then A's again. This is called a pattern, an ABB pattern. You will get two stencils, a big one, and a little one, and I've even labeled them for you, friends. We're gonna start with the A first. You will use a pencil. I'm gonna use a Sharpie so you can see. Holding that stencil, you want it kind of up near the top corner. Holding it tight, you're gonna trace one end, and while you're holding it with your non-writing hand, and then your other. Then you're gonna do your B. Who remembers how many times do we do the B? Well, that's right, twice. And I'm leaving a little space between the two leaves, but not too much. So I'm gonna go one, and then two. And then what comes after that? Do I trace the B again? If it's an A, B, B, what do I need after that? Right, I need to now go in and do my big one again. So I'm gonna go A, and then, my B is twice, B, and B. Then I'm gonna go, what's, I have enough room, I can do another one, A, and then let's see, is that B's not really gonna fit, it kinda does, maybe I, yeah. I might be able to squeeze it in, but I think I'm gonna leave it. There's not a whole lot of space. So I have A, B, B, A, B, B, A, and then it, there's no more room. So big, small, small, big, small, small, big, and what would come next if I had room? Great, small, small. I'm gonna flip my paper over this way because we're just doing the sides and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start with A first and then what comes next? B, B. Hey friends, now that we made an ABB pattern using the size of a leaf shape, you're gonna now go in and add just some details in each of your leaves. How you're gonna do that is the first thing you're gonna do from one point to the next on your leaves is draw a straight line. You're then going to do a line on each side, a diagonal line that comes across from the middle to the edge, and then do the same thing on the other side. It's almost like a V, an upside down V. So I'm gonna do that again. So I'm gonna have two of those upside down Vs with a line in the middle. I'm gonna do that to all of my leaves. I'm gonna have two upside down Vs with a line in the middle. Start with your line in the middle. Do your angle line, one, two. So a line over here, a line over here. It goes all the way to the edge. A line over here, and then a line over here, all the way to the edge. You're gonna do that to now each. Now we're gonna add an ABB color to our leaves. So you're gonna pick two colors. One is gonna be for your big leaf. One is gonna be for your little leaf. I'm gonna do blue for my big leaves and orange for my little leaves, but you can choose any colors you want. Usually leaves are greenish, yellows, but you can decide it's up to you. So we're just gonna color the leaves in today, my friends. I'm gonna start with the blue first in my big leaf, and I'm going around the edge. I'm outlining the shape, and then I'm filling in with circles, taking my time. I wanna kind of push hard on the crayon because we're gonna create what's called a resist later with paint. So I'm really making sure every spot in that leaf is covered up and I don't see any whites. Now I'm gonna have to do the orange how many times? Twice, because the, my little leaves are gonna all be the same colors, whatever that color I picked. 
So I'm gonna do those orange. And now, not only do I have a size with my shape ABB pattern, but I also have an ABB pattern with color. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with blue again and my big leaf and then my little leaves. I'm gonna make sure they're orange. So go through whatever color you chose for your big leaves. All of those big leaves should be that color. Whatever color you chose for your little leaves, all those little leaves should be that color. Okay, as well. friends, here we go. That's all set. I went in. I really filled in the areas. I took my time. I layered with the crayon. I outlined the shape. I went back over my colors, colors multiple times so that I did not see any white in my leaves. And I made a color pattern. So let's read it together. Blue, orange, orange. Blue, orange, orange. Blue, what would have come next if I had room? Great, orange, orange. So you're gonna make a color ABB pattern by choosing a color for your big leaf and choosing a color for your little leaves. Notice that each side of my paper is exactly the same.